Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Three blade versus four blade. It's the classic propeller debate. Well, a couple of years ago, Mercury came out with their new Spitfire propellers that's said to have all the benefits of a four blade with the top end speed of a three blade. So this week on my boat, we're gonna take a look at them and find one that's just right for this 94 stroke. So the prop we're working with here is a three blade, 13 and a quarter diameter, 17 pitch prop. So let's head out and get our baseline numbers to compare it to. So for this Mercury 94 stroke, the wide open throttle RPM range is between 5,000 and 6,000. So what we want to do is take this for a run to see if we hit that range at wide open throttle. I'll also record the speed that we reach and as well we'll do things like acceleration and time to plane so we have a baseline to compare to the four blade propeller. After testing the wide open throttle RPM and top speed, along with some time to plane stats, I soon had my base to work with for finding the right propeller. Wide open throttle RPM was spot on at 6,000. This gave us a top speed of 38.6 miles per hour. Time to plane was three and a half seconds and zero to 20 was 4.2 seconds. Back at the dock, it was time to change out the propeller. So what we'll do here is spend a moment and talk about the science of propellers. You basically have three blade versus four blade. Three blade is great for top end performance, where four blade is great for hole shots. But where these new Mercury Spitfire propellers come in is that they claim to have the great hole shot that you know with a four blade, but with the top end performance of a three blade. The next subject is pitch. And your pitch is the distance the propeller travels in one full rotation. Now this affects your RPM because higher pitch spins slower because the prop's bigger. Now also, four blade versus three blade, the four blade spins slower. So you're gonna wanna go down in pitch when making that transition. But since we're starting with a 17 pitch, we'll start with that and then make our baseline to see whether we need to go up or down in pitch to find that optimal performance. With the new four blade Spitfire installed, it was time to put it to the test to see how it would perform. Right away, I'm noticing with the new four blade Spitfire, how much better it's holding speed, as well, how much more the motor's staying hooked up. If I bring it to wide open throttle, we're running at 6,000 RPM, and the speed is within points, within points of the three blade. But not only that, the motor's staying hooked up like a four blade is. I'm really impressed with this propeller. After testing the time to plane and acceleration, it was clear we had a distinct winner. Not only was the 17 pitch four blade faster to plane by a second, it held speed better, stayed hooked up, and even had slightly faster top end. With numbers like that, we didn't feel the need to test the other pitches. It was clear we had a winner. Picking the right propeller is a science, and hopefully today we've given you some insight so if you want to change the prop up on your boat. Now, there's always that debate on three blade versus four blade, but much like they said it would, Mercury has now bridged the gap with their new Spitfire propeller.